This is Cupstick Mom. I am listening to Lipstick and Bullet Podcast. This is Dr. Clark Ibrahim, and you're now listening to the Lipstick and Bullets Podcast. Yo, check this out. This is the number one Pete Rock. You're checking out Lipstick and Bullets Podcast. You heard? Uh, what up, y'all? You are now down in to the Lipsticks and Bullets Podcast, episode 16, and I am Mr. Elemental, Mr. Bellhaven Superior, Mr. Miss Key's son, Mr. Thank you very much, and my lovely wife is... Vanessa and Dino Keys is in the building. Hello, neighbors. And that's Hola. right. That's right. And we are the Lipsticks and Bullets crew. What and up, we want dude? to say peace and blessing to you all. Hoping everybody is safe yes. out there. Hoping you bundled in and listen to what we got popping. Yes. Um, we as got always. Some, we got some gems. Always gems. And <laughs> always being your neighbors. Yes. Dropping little nuggets here and you there. Know, and um, big up to everybody out there. And if you're dialing in, if you want to share and mm-hmm. follow and <laughs> subscribe, subscribe and do all this, go to www.fortnod.com. That is our website. Yes. On that website, you can drop your emails or whatever. Yes. You have Holla at for us. Show. Shout if you out. Talk about a topic. I will shout you out yes. in the podcast if I think it's really dope. <laughs> Chances are it's not as dope as we are. But <laughs> saying all that, you have a chance. Because that was a shot I fired. I think it's challenging you guys. You got out there. Um, Bring it. Big apologies. I suppose this week's supposed to have um, the independent um, song of the week. Mm. I didn't get to it because some other things got in the way. Recording wise. Um, so I'm getting in contact with a, um, the individuals All right now. that's around, and we're going to have that next week. So okay. on that tip, my apologies, and next week is going to be popping. We're going to make it even better than it was because we're going to be thrown together, and we don't get down like that. No, because, we, you know, uh, we, 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 we deal with excellence. You know, Master Pill. Definitely yes. select clientele. Yes, you know what indeed. I'm and I'm um, <laughs> only built for Cuban links around here. <laughs> anyway, on that, that note, <laughs> on that note, what we're going to do uh-huh. is that make sure that everybody around mm-hmm. talk about www.spreaker. Yes. S P R E A K E R. Dot com slash keys for the city. Keys. Which is an umbrella for Fort Nye. Yeah. Which is the parent company that Come we Come on now. Okay. Come on now. So, if you go to that, you go to Facebook, and if you on this Apple tip, mm-hmm. which we love. We there too. Which we are too. Mm-hmm. Go to any streaming site and But we you prefer Spreaker Us Yeah But well, we want you to come to Spreaker Because you know what We trying to cash those checks Okay <laughs> Let's be quite honest with you Okay We need to be quite honest with you Support <laughs> us And we support you Yes We want you as Us being your neighbors To make sure you put your input yes. Into Co-sign the show with us To make it pop Indeed And that's all we're trying to do All right that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to and be And we thank and you for listening, subscribing. I've been oh, hearing man. a lot of people saying we we was making their day. They're funny with all this quarantine. And I please hope you could still quarantine if you could do so. Yes. Because let me tell you, Atlanta. Yes. You guys are on the news. Y'all really out there clowning. Man, listen. Uh, I, I mean, if it ain't the long line at the barbershop <laughs> There's levels to this man okay. <laughs> But I know the struggle is real no. And people want to pay their rent And their checks You yeah. know they need that, that money And that 1200 stimulus they ain't yeah. gonna cut it yeah. For real for real yeah. So I understand fully But make sure if you have to get this Haircut, you can't know pay I mean? rent if you're in the hospital, though. Okay, that's, that's another story. But if you have to do it with some gloves and a mask and your barber too, and hopefully he washes in between clients, yes, his hands, yes. And also, Atlanta was on the news for these Jordans. Man, listen, y'all. I the said, Jordan culture has taken up another another level. 
Uh, no, I'm not. Mm-mm-mm. And those Jordans ain't even all that. Just be quite honest. I didn't with see them, so I don't those know. Those Jordans are not even all that. You know, they, I'm always the last they, minute they, to know they, about I mean, Jordans. It's like, know, oh, they sold out. Like, what, 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 did, they, what did they say that? We Jordan around here, man. But those were not enough to, mm-hmm. to sit here and lose a limb or two. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, man. Yeah, you got to be real serious about your life choices right now. Absolutely. Okay? Because um, it's real serious out there. But, you know, these youngest don't care. They want them Jordans. They, they want to floss. So that's how it go. And on the news, we all, not only do we got this coronavirus. Yes. What other thing popped off this week? Yeah. What, 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 did, did they say murder hornet? A murder hornet. Murder hornet. Savage. Savage. <laughs> Savagery of a hornet. First of all, it can kill you. Don't get caught up in some nest because a couple of those things and you gonna be seeing your maker. Hey, listen, it's very. It's, I mean, as we laugh and joke, the ecosystem is um, is upsy turvy right now because they are killing regular bees. Yes, and we do need regular and bumblebees. You know, if you don't have bees, man, right. we in trouble. Yes, indeed. Right. So they're really trying to eradicate these murder hornets. But and if you saw them on TV, these things look monstrous. They look from <laughs> out of space or something. <laughs> Change the channel. And you know what, man? Why, why are these things <laughs> coming out in the blue, too, man? That's just That's what weird, I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, where the heck did this? I mean, did somebody came from the Amazon? Because that's the only place happened, I could man. think of where a big old hornet like they that. They came in looking like George Clinton in the apartment. <laughs> I saw him getting up on a, 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 a mouse or something or a rat or something like that. No. You seen that? No, I just oh, know that they're man. big as your pinky. It. Google it. <laughs> the Googler. Google it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, first of all, we got this COVID-19. Now we got this hornet. And yeah. for all of us down here in the South, we getting ready for this hurricane season. So Man. y'all better prepare this because God ain't playing. Yo, he's not okay? playing right now. So he's stuff is playing. really popping off. And so y'all better get Pro- your prayer Pro- on. Prophecy is happening. It's okay. Happening, it's it's happening. happening in real life. Yeah. Now, another subject that I really wanted to talk about was about this five-year-old little boy. Man, listen. Go ahead, please. <laughs> This little five-year-old was having a discussion with his mom Saying, uh, yo mom, I want a Lamborghini And so mom being like, okay, five-year-old boy, no, we can't get no Lamborghini So she blew him off She probably was thinking that he was talking about a little toy I was thinking that at Yo, first. at That's first maybe. Like, yeah, but no, then, you she know. blew them off. Do you know where they were from? Like, I think I said Iowa, Idaho. One of those eyes. I can't really remember. Okay. But you can Google. It. Uh, are they white? Yes. Okay. It looked like it when they showed. Well, oh, they didn't okay. show the boy's face because he's under age. So make a little more sense. Go ahead. And so I guess the teenage older brother of the five year old was supposed to be watching uh-huh. when said parents went to work. And then what happened? So I guess little youngun. Decided to take mama's keys with the SUV. Hold up. Hold yes. Up. Hold up. Yes. yes. Okay. He got Once snatched. Once again, they were who? They were white guy? I, I, I'm assuming they were white because the boy looked white. And, what, and the parents, were the parents working? And they went to work and the um, oldest son, who's a teenager. He, he was in charge. <laughs> he was in charge. All right. No, carry. he wasn't in charge, actually, because yeah. the boy yeah, yeah. sneaked yeah, off. Yeah. Carry you know how teenagers are. You know how we do. We put stuff on our ears and we listen to music or we talk talking to some girl right. or a boy, right. yeah. you know, so who knows, you know, what happened, right. and uh, he snatched his mama key to her SUV, got in the car, what? yo, they had, I saw it on YouTube, they had the cop camera on, like the dashboard yeah, camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. this little boy was, I would have said the N-word, but this little boy, yeah, 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 yeah. he, he drove better than some fools I know. <laughs> <laughs> he was swerving a so little how, bit. How far did they say he was down the road? Listen, I, mean, I don't know all that. All I know, he I was, was on the he highway. Was on, he was on the highway. A four lane highway. You hear? Listen, when I was, I was scared to get on, on the highway when I was highway. sixteen. And he was five years old. Five years old. No fear. You see what I'm saying? And he, he, he was a big boy. He when they saw when I saw a little picture of him, I was like, he he looked like he a little chunky monkey. He liked his cake. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he was not the average five year old. But then, but when you saw the dash cam, he was driving on a four lane highway. Mind you, thank God it wasn't that crazy like it is now with the COVID. A lot of people are home. So how they get him off the road? The cop put his lights on, and you know the little boy pulled over to the side. What? 
<laughs> yes, he did. Put his signal light on. I'm you telling you, you guys need to check it out. So he pulled over. When the cop went to the door to see, he Yo. saw that he was scooped up all the way to the front of the seat so that his foot. That's foots, what I'm ask, like, how he get to the back? Yeah, yeah, so his foot was on the brake. Foot. Foot. Okay, foot. <laughs> and. He went back to his vehicle And he went back to the car And I guess shut everything down Or whatever Put it in park for the youngin And asked him how old he was He said I'm five years old Wow And then told him that You know he was on the road Because he wanted to go visit his sister Who lives in California IA <laughs> But later on He told another trooper That he was going to California Because he wanted to buy a Lamborghini His mom didn't want to buy it for him So he was going <laughs> to drive to Cali now to get his wow. Lamborghini And guess how much money He had his wife To buy this said Lamborghini What about 12000 Three dollars <laughs> <laughs> Yo somebody needs to do a fund To give this boy his Lamborghini He deserve it He was driving no, he His butt off on that highway He get his ass whooped That way he did. Man And I haven't heard Any bet, type of I bet you got I, did, I bet you got Put in time out <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I unbelievable. You say, uh, Billy. Uh, it was crazy. And I just couldn't believe it. He was five years old. Five years old. Driving. Amazing on the highway. about the pulling over part. Yes. You know, that's that's pretty dope. That's pretty he deserves dope. that Lambo in my book. And for I'm him like, to get dude. On the highway. Highway. Because, you know, I was scared at 16. I was like, oh, I'll go about the backwoods, you know, <laughs> the shortcuts in the back. So I'm not driving on that country? highway. A four lane highway, obviously, it wasn't a country place. Too much of a No, place. I mean, he, he but you know he knew, <laughs> he knew to get to California, he had to get on that highway. You're a four lane highway, so. He's a genius. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it could be small. I, I guess I'm now I'm looking at it differently, mm. but yeah, still amazing. Five uh, years old, amazing. And so the next topic we want to talk about is the last dance. What part was it? Five and six? No, nah, man. For Jordan, is it? Been? Yeah, it was five and six. Yeah, five and six. Yeah. And this was really breaking out Jordan um and the popularity. Oh, and, yeah. Um, basically, and they went into the gambling thing a little bit. Boy, he was t- a gambling let me fool. Tell you, man. Jordan is about that gambling life. Oh, yeah. I have some cousins and stuff. They about that gambling oh, life. Oh, yes. But they ain't about that gambling life. Right My there. God. He I believe was. they had the money like that. I believe they would be. be. They would be right there they with them. They would be like that. Mm-hmm. But he was gambling life, but he was just on another level. On the golf like, thing. On the golf. Competitive. Very competitive with the Very card game. Very competitive with anything. They were saying like he was playing $1,000 game in with the, the boys. In the back. Yeah, in the back of the bus. And went to the front where the boys were playing dollar <laughs> blackjack <laughs> and wanted to get in on the game. Because he said, I want your money in my pocket. I want all their money in my pocket. <laughs> okay. So that's why you got to remember that when you get in those Jordan. He wants your money in his pocket. Man, listen, man. Jordan <laughs> is about that life. Now I'm telling you. However, it also shows how big he was. Yeah. Boys and yeah. They always say rock star, but yeah. they're he rock stars that. and then there's icons. Mm-hmm. And he was definitely he is a he icon, an icon. But then at that time, oh it God. was just like crazy. He couldn't go nowhere. He, I mean, everywhere he went, it was just like, I can do it. Jordan. You know, yeah. Even outside the doors. Ah. Even now you go overseas. If you tall and bald headed, they be like, Are you Michael Jordan? <laughs> it's like they think we're all Michael Jordan. Yeah, no, yeah. if you have several yeah. seats, white people. Yeah, they were talking about other people, <laughs> you know, people they like Michael Jordan. They, yeah. they, they were put him in like, hey. Yeah. He was that guy. You know definitely what I'm saying? So that guy. It was definitely uh, pretty dope how they put in and how he mm-hmm. was um interact with uh Teammates and stuff like yeah. that as well, so it was okay. pretty dope. All right, so. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I also want to sell to sell, send a celebratory post Cinco de Mayo. Yes, and it was Taco Tuesday on a Taco Tuesday. My God, if we didn't have this pandemic, we would have been out there. Man, Licks. this I, I'm guarantee you, man, it was. Shout out to me, Cancun, because I love a, that restaurant. It was a lot of restaurants <laughs> that lost tremendous amount. Well, I heard Miami was doing some little thing with those trucks, those food trucks. 
and people lost their mind. They were like going over there, not social distancing, and the cops had to come and stuff. I not, <laughs> it was hell. I, I would not doubt. I think people are definitely tired. Yes, and, that um, cabin fever is but, at 10.0 but, right now. I already know. Yes, that door was popping. Mm hmm. So. so yeah, it was insane. So I just want to wish Cinco de Mayo to all my Mexican friends. And, arriba, and, arriba, arriba! And then, and then <laughs> all the people out there that's not having a job right now yeah. in, in the hospitality business. Yeah.